Why are you still working at your job? Have you thought about quitting? A recent survey showed that 61% of people were thinking about quitting their jobs last year. And Generation Z is leading the way at 72%. And millennials, they're right behind them. But why is this? It's due to poor work-life balance, unfair pay, toxic workplace culture, feeling undervalued, and limited advancement. Maybe you hate your job, a lot of people hate their jobs. And it's not just a personality disagreement or incompatibility, it goes beyond that. It goes to the point where a physical reaction is being caused. Maybe the hands start to get sweaty, your heart rate goes up, you clench into a fist. There's a negative reaction when you see your supervisor or when you see your coworkers. So what is causing these people to stay at their job? One of the main reasons people are staying and they feel stuck at their job is because of the money. The money isn't good or great, but it's just enough to keep you fiercely dependent on it. You need to have those paychecks coming in, even though they're small. And this is the reason it's so incredibly important to save and invest and to have money because money equals freedom, the freedom to say no, the freedom to move to different opportunities, to say, I don't like your personality and I don't have to deal with it. I'll jump to another organization or I'll jump and do something completely different. The ironic thing is that most people, when they decide to jump jobs, they actually see a pay raise in the new job. Even when people are financially secure, let's say they have six, 12 months of savings in the bank, they still become paralyzed and they don't want to leave their job because what they have now is stable and secure, at least for the moment. And certainty today is better than the unknown tomorrow. Staying where you're at is comfortable. And comfort is the main reason people do not want to uproot from their location. And it's just not geographically dependent. It's not your location, but also what you focus on. This happens with people in the military. All they've done is things in the military. So then they feel, what am I gonna do? I guess I'll go to DOD, the Department of Defense, because I know that. And if you're in the same location, let's say you're in a small town in Kansas or Iowa, at a certain point you have to leave in order to chase after better opportunities. And when I say move, that might involve selling some things. That might involve getting somebody and renting a studio apartment nearby in a major city where the jobs are double or triple the salary than small town Bill, Kansas. These are decisions that you're eventually gonna have to make to improve your situation and what will ultimately result in you making a lot more money. Then there are people, they don't want to job hop because they believe it looks negative on them. And it's true if you keep jumping around from job to job every few weeks, yeah, it'll look bad on you. I was speaking to a guy, he had 20 jobs in three years and it boggled my mind. How is that even possible? Okay, it's possible, it happened to him. But at that point, you have to look at your resume and you might have to remove some of those jobs because a hiring manager that looks at your resume and they're seeing 15 or 20 jobs in a three year period, they're gonna scratch their head. They're not gonna feel comfortable bringing you onto the team knowing that you have a history and a pattern of jumping around a lot. But if you've been at that job, let's say for at least three years, two or three years, then you need to realize your pay raise comes when you jump. When you jump, that's going to give you the best potential for promotional growth, for salary growth. Then there are the people that feel they're betraying the organization. I just got this job six months ago or 12 months ago. I, I got a better job offer. They're paying me $25,000, $30,000 more a year, but I can't leave them, right? Because Bob, he trusted. He gave me a chance when nobody else would. And now I'm on the team and I feel like I have to give them at least three years. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to give anybody any years. You make that decision. And that decision should be largely based on what will benefit you and your family. Here's a word of caution. Just because you receive a tentative job offer or any type of job offer, do not make life-changing decisions until it is firm, until you start your first day. Because we have tentative job offers every day in this country that are revoked, that are pulled, that are rescinded, whatever you want to say, they are no longer valid. And what people end up doing is they hire the moving truck. They pack everything up. They break their lease. They put their house on the market, whatever it is. 
You do not do any of those things until at the bare minimum you have a final job offer, but even better, you start your first day. Data has continued to show that people are leaving their jobs more than ever. You really end up with two types of people. You have the type of person that's going to be sedentary in that one location and they're not open to change. They're not open to looking at any other type of jobs with different duties or responsibilities. They're just in comfort land. It might not be the best pay, but they're just comfortable, so they're gonna stay there. Then you have people that aggressively chase opportunities. Whether that means moving or not, you could move physically or you can stay in that location if you are in, a, let's say, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Washington, D.C. You can stay in the physical area, but there are thousands of different opportunities. You can climb as far as your ambition allows you to climb. Whatever your situation is currently, it's highly unlikely that you're in the perfect job right now. And because of that, you need to stay hungry. You need to take interviews. You need to network and understand what are the opportunities? Where are my gaps? Is my resume updated? These are thoughts that should be reoccurring. If you are looking for the next opportunity, a next job, maybe it could be a federal government job. If you wanna know exactly how to attain a federal government job, all of the steps, if you're interested in that, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.